Okay. Well, I activated the microphone. I didn't really know when. Okay. Okay. Well, yo, what's up, people? Thank you very much for connecting. Finally, Friday. I know that tonight we're not gonna have a lot of people connected, especially due to the fact that is Fry Friday. I'm sorry, but my I bit my my lips, and that's why I cannot talk or pronounce things properly but i'm i promise i'm doing my best okay so thank you very much for connecting let me just go blind a couple of seconds hold on okay there you go let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let me just jump over here Okay, there's only one person watching, and that's gonna be me <laughs> from my cell phone, but that's gonna be alright, because I know that some of you are gonna be checking the class later on. Sé que algunos de ustedes se conectan después, o se conectan durante. Um, la clase o la ven después. Precisamente andan fuera, I don't know, el día viernes. But thank you, everybody, for being here. So let's go back with the camera. There we go. Super great, super good. Okay, so tonight, thank you for being here. Um, as I told you a few days ago, you know, we have a schedule, we have a schedule for every week, and this week, let me try to pull it up, let me try to pull it up, hold on, okay, I think I got it here, oh my god, this is not what I wanted, oh, this is not what I wanted, just give me like a couple of seconds, give me just a couple of seconds, Okay, got it. Okay, so as I told you before, every week we have a schedule. You know, we have a different schedule, and for this week we're going to have the review. Today, June 2nd, we're going to do the review of the three topics that we started this week, which are going to be wishes in future, present perfect, and past perfect. So that's what we're going to study. Okay, that's what we're going to study. So, friendly reminder, uh, I have this Facebook page that we're going to make it grow little by little. We're going to, like, do different activities in the future that are going to be, uh, like, beneficial for all of you guys. And also, uh, try to share it with as many people as possible because we want to, like, get to, uh, obviously, as many people as, as much as many people as possible because like you know we want to help them to achieve their dreams and goals in life okay so that was just a reminder so let's start with the class you know i like to start classes um with a new idiom or with a new phrasal verb or new vocabulary in general and today we're gonna check check this out okay the idiom of for, for today is gonna be out of the blue very easy what's the meaning suddenly and unexpectedly yeah when you don't expect something to happen you know that's good algo que pasa de la nada that's gonna be pretty much out of the blue so we have an example over there what's the example look, look i'm sorry look at it it says one day out of the blue she announced that she was leaving yeah De la nada podríamos decir que se traduce out of the blue. I'm gonna give you two more examples and you try to create one example in your mind or in your notebook. Okay, because this is gonna help you. You know what, guys? Out of the blue, my girlfriend told me she was leaving me oh well we're using the same period but it's a valid example <laughs> yeah it's gonna be good so hey guys de la nada out of the blue my girl girlfriend told me that she was leaving me for another man yeah that's it simple yeah easy de la nada yeah that's good that's good i'm gonna give you one more example and then you are gonna give me your own examples yeah that's good Yesterday, okay, look at this example. Oh, 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 okay, there you go. Yesterday, I was talking with my cousin, and out of the blue, y de la nada, she started crying. You know, y de la nada, empezó 
I know that out of the blue, she started crying. That's going to be the example. Okay, there you go. So this is out of the blue. So right now, I'm going to give you two. I'm sorry, one minute. I'm going to give you one minute so you can think about an example. So you can create examples. You can share it in the stream if you're there. Or you can um, go ahead and do it in your notebook. Or you can create the examples in your mind. Okay, so let's do it. We have exactly one minute. So let's go ahead and do it. Piece of cake. And if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's actually a Pepsi Black. It's actually really good. I like it. I prefer I prefer Coca-Cola, but I mean this flavor it's it's kind of unique. It's very soft. So it's it's really good. I like it. There you go. Okay, so we got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. So you can give me your example. There you go. Just one person here. Okay. No problem. Huh? It's good. I know that eventually we're going to be more people over here in the channel and that's going to be good. Okay. Time's up. There you go. So let's do one more. Let's let in this time. Let's do a translation. Okay. Let's do it a little different. How do you say? Um, Cuando fui a visitar a mi tía. De la nada, escuché un ruido raro. Okay, how do you say this example? How do you see this? Let me make it bigger. Let me make it a little bigger. There you go. Okay, very simple. Let's go. Let's do it together. When I visited... Wait, that's too small. Oh, no, never mind. It's good. When I... I'm sorry. When I visited my aunt... Out of the blue, I heard a weird noise. Yeah, that's good. Easy and simple. That's gonna be how we use out of the blue. There you go. So I hope that you gave nice examples. Remember that the idioms, you can use it in all tenses. You can use them in simple present, in simple past, in uh, any tense that you want to use it okay so that's gonna be it for the idiom of the day now guys let's go and let's just start with the review of the class okay let's start with the review of the class which is gonna be we're gonna start you know what let me reopen what i closed tuesday we start i studied wishes in the future so we're gonna do a little review about that okay we're gonna do a little review about wishes in the future and that's what we got over here there you go we got the wishes let me move this a little above on top of it okay that looks much better okay there you go so we got the wishes in the future remember that we express wishes in all tenses we express wishes in present in past and in future puedes expresar un deseo en presente pasado y futuro y cada uno de esos tiempos tiene su estructura yeah that's good eh, los wishes los deseos en presente y en pasado los vimos la semana pasada así que te invito a que vayas a ver esos videos por si no sabes o no te recuerdas o quieres refrescar esos eh, grammar tenses y ahorita vamos a darle un repaso a lo de esta semana los wishes in the future okay and it's gonna be very 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 simple remember it's a wish that you want to happen in the future for example how do you say oh let's check the structure first you know for the structure it's very simple we got the subject we got wish or wishes if it's their person we got another subject yeah that's good and then what's next would plus the verb you know what let's do verb plus the compliment yeah that's gonna be the structure for the wishes in the future let me make it even bigger so you can see that better okay there you go that's it examples 
I'm sorry if that was too loud. How do you say this? Desearía poder ir al cine el día de mañana. How do you say that? Okay, following the structure, siguiendo la estructura. I wish I would go to the movies tomorrow. Okay, there you go. I wish I would go to the movies tomorrow. Easy. As simple as that. Now, cambiamos ese mismo ejemplo para poner otro sujeto. Yeah, that's good. How do you say, desearía que ella fuera o vaya conmigo al cine mañana? ¿Cómo sería eso? I wish she would go to the movies tomorrow. Y si la que desea que vaya al cine, yo, eh, es ella, Wait, wait, I got a little confused over there. Si ella es la que desea que yo vaya al cine con ella, ¿cómo sería eso? ¿Ella desea que yo vaya con ella? Okay, that's good. Simple. She, third person. She wishes I would go to the movies con ella, with her, tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Y ahí ella es la que está deseando que yo vaya con ella el día de mañana al cine, ¿ya? Yeah? That's good and simple. Hey Liz, thank you very much for connecting. I highly appreciate it. You don't miss a class and that's really good. Te felicito porque siempre estás acá. That's really good. Eso habla muy, pero muy bien de ti. Thank you very, 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 very much. Good. Now, how do you say this? Esto que a muchos de nosotros nos toca y muchos de nosotros lo decimos, pero ¿cómo lo dirías en inglés? How do you say, desearía no tener que trabajar mañana? Uh -huh. How do you say that? Acompáñame, let's do it together, let's do it together. I wish I wouldn't have to work tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. O, oh, no sé, desearía no tener que trabajar en, la vaca en las vacaciones, por ejemplo. I wish I wouldn't have to work on vacation. Yeah, and that's it. There you go. Good. Él desea no tener que trabajar. ¿Cómo sería él desea? He wishes he wouldn't have to work on vacation. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the egg. Sam Paul. You have one minute. Tienes un minuto para darme un ejemplo, ya sea positive o negativo, usando los wishes in the future. Yeah, it's good. Do it in your notebook, compartirlo en el chat, or think about it. Si no estás en tu casa en estos momentos, pero lo estás viendo, pensa en un ejemplo, and let's go. Tienes un minuto, that's good. Si me puedes dar más de uno, that's gonna be great. Okay, so we have one minute. We have one minute, people. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got 40 seconds left. You know, I'm sweating actually. It's really hot here. And I'm wearing a sweater. A hoodie. We got 10 seconds, so you can give me your example. You'll see now wish in the future, positive or negative. Okay, beautiful. There you go. Okay, one minute's over. So, thank you very much for your great work. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's good. And keep up the good, um, the great work you're doing. So, ya haciéndolo así, that's good. Trata de darme ejemplos creativos siempre que puedas, porque eso te va a ayudar un montón. Como no tenés idea. Yeah, that's good. Bueno, ya le dimos un repaso nuevamente a lo que fue eh, los wishes en futuro. Aquí tenemos nuevamente la estructura. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Siempre importante usar el wishes si es tercera persona. He, she, it. Y para hacerlo en futuro, vamos a usar el would y el verbo en su forma base. Ah, that's good. Y si lo querés hacer negativo, lo que vas a poner en negativo va a ser el would. O sea, 
wouldn't. Yeah, there you go. Cositas, detalles que hay que tener en mente. Now, that's it for the wishes in future. What was the second topic of the week? ¿Cuál fue el segundo tema que nosotros estudiamos? Pues fue el present perfect. Yeah, that's good. Present perfect. And over here, we're going to study something new that we didn't touch. We didn't mention in the previous class when we studied present perfect. Ok, esto no lo mencionamos en la clase del Present Perfect, así que es algo nuevo, no es nada más como un repaso, si sí va a funcionar como repaso, pero va a ser algo nuevo. Yeah, there you go. Actually, let me make this as small as possible and let's move it over here. Beautiful. That's much better. Ok, there you go. So we got the same, um, I'm sorry, we got the Present Perfect. Ok. And we're gonna check, I don't know if I can, no, I, don't, I cannot highlight this. Hold on, give me a few seconds, let me see if I have that option. No, I cannot highlight. No, I can't. Oh wait, I believe it, I can. Spotlight? Oh no, that takes it in the middle. Okay, that, that's gonna be all right. As you can see over here in the box where I have my, my mouse over here, it says unfinished. Time word. Unfinished time word. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar el present perfect? La vez pasada vimos el how long, el since y el for, pero ahora vamos a ver esta nueva forma que es el unfinished time word. ¿A qué se refiere con unfinished time word? Ok, let me clarify that right now for you. For example, Look at this, look at this. This week, look at that. This week, today, this month, this year. Todo eso, today, this week, the class, uh, June. I don't know, cualquier cosa que te puedas imaginar. Todo esto ya se acabó, ya terminó, o todavía no. Obviamente el día es cierto, ya es bastante tarde en el día, pero it's not finished yet. Yeah, you know, that's good. Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay, ahí vamos. There you go. There you go. Uh, esta semana es viernes, pero no se acaba. La clase, uh, vamos por la mitad, aún no se acaba. Junio, apenas vamos empezando. No se ha acabado. Entonces, cuando algo no ha acabado, cuando hablamos de una palabra de tiempo... Ahí vamos a usar present perfect. Ejemplos, examples, there you go. ¿Cómo me dirías ahora no me he bañado? <laughs> there you go, how do you say that? Today, present perfect. Bueno, antes de seguir con el present perfect, recordemos la structure. Yeah, that's good. ¿Qué tenemos primero? Oh my God, there you go. We're going to have subject. What's going to be next? A ver si te acordás, después del subject, three, two, one. Auxiliary have o tercera persona auxiliary has. There you go. ¿Qué es? sigue después? El verb como el verbo va a ir en past participle. Yeah, you got it. And then we're gonna have the complement. I know you cannot see that, así que déjame hacerlo un poquito más grande para que lo veas. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Here you go. This is gonna be the structure. For um, the present perfect, yeah? Si no te recordabas, esto es el present perfect. Now, hoy sí, vamos a hacer los ejemplos. ¿Cómo decís, hey, ahora no me he bañado? How do you see that? Today, I haven't taken a shower. ¿Ya se acabó el día? Como te decía, no, todavía no se ha acabado. Entonces usamos el present perfect. ¿Ya se acabó la semana? No. Ah, oh, that's good. So, this week... I have eaten a lot of, I don't know, sushi. Esta semana he comido bastante sushi. Hey, también lo puedes poner al final y no hay ningún problema. I have eaten a lot of sushi this week. Y también es válido. ¿Ya? ¿Cómo me dirías la clase ha estado interesante? No se ha acabado la clase. Entonces, ¿cómo me decís, eh, ¿cómo me decís eso? The class... Third person, tercera persona, porque la clase es una cosa, entonces es it. It has 
been interesting. Yeah, that's good. The class has been interesting. There you go. Now, junio, no se acabado. ¿Qué podríamos decir de junio? Oh, ok, solo llevamos dos días, entonces, digamos, no he trabajado en junio. Ah, oh, that's good. I haven't worked in June. Yeah, no he trabajado en junio. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Acordate que estas palabras, let me highlight it for you. Today, uh, this week, the class, and finally, in June, yeah, the month, son cosas que no han terminado. Entonces, acá es donde vamos a usar el present perfect. Ahora bien, ya que dijimos que no ha terminado, ¿qué pasa si ya terminó? What happens, si quieres decir, por ejemplo, ayer ya se acabó, obviamente, right, that's good. Yesterday, it's over. Last week, is over. The morning, la mañana, ya pasó, ya se acabó. Uh, imagínate, tu cumpleaños fue la semana pasada, so my birthday. También, ya se acabó. ¿Qué vamos a usar en ese caso? Lo pasado es pasado, entonces vamos a usar el simple past. No vamos a usar el present perfect. No te vayas a confundir en esa parte. Ya, yeah, that's good. Aquí usamos el simple past. Ayer sí me bañé. Yesterday I took a shower. La semana pasada, eh, no comí sushi. Simple past. I didn't eat sushi. Uh, la mañana estuvo fantástica. The morning was amazing. I don't know. Yeah, it's good. Mi cumpleaños. Eh, what? Estuvo aburrido. My birthday was boring. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Todo esto ya pasó. Yesterday, last week, the morning, my birthday. Entonces vamos a usar el simple past. Is that clear? Do you have any questions? I hope you don't have any questions at all. Oh, wait, now that I remember. Okay, there you go. Stream labels. This has to update so we can see the latest tops. Okay, there you go. Never mind. That's going to be done by itself. Okay, that's going to be it. Y acá vemos otro de los usos del present perfect. Para hablar de algo que no ha terminado, ¿ya? ¿sí? Como lo veíamos acá. Today, this week, the class, June, uh, tonight, esta noche, nos se ha acabado. Um, este año, ¿ya? Yeah, let's go. There you go. Ahí vamos a usar el present perfect. ¿Ya? Yeah, super good. Now, let's go. Ahora vamos a pasar a ver... Y eso era todo del present perfect. Hay otras formas de usar el present perfect, pero lo vamos a ver en una clase a futuro más a detalle. Así que pendientes de la programación. El lunes voy a estar mandando la programación de la próxima semana para que tú puedas ver qué temas vamos a ver. Estos temas no los vamos a volver a tocar en un rato, en un rato, sí. Sí los vamos a ver después, pero no por el momento. Yeah, that's good. Ok, now let's go. ¿Qué más tenemos por acá? ¿Cuál fue otro de los temas que vimos? Este lo vimos el día de ayer. We checked this out yesterday. Oh, there you go. Past. Wait, what happened? I cannot make it bigger. What the heck? Ok, creo que no puedo hacerlo más grande. That's gonna be weird. Ok, never mind. And we checked yesterday, guys. We started past perfect. That's what we started, which was a great and very interesting topic. Yeah, and we have over here the structure. We got subject, auxiliary have, important para todos los subjects, el, el auxiliary que vamos a usar siempre, 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 siempre va a ser had. Yeah, that's good. No importa si es third person, el auxiliary va a ser had. Now, ¿qué pasa si es negativo? Had not. What's the contraction? Hadn't. That's what we are going to do. Yeah, there you go. So, for you to know, this is gonna be it. So, yesterday, we were talking about past perfect. And we said that we use it for 
an action that happened before another action, ¿ya? Hablábamos de dos cosas que sucedieron, ambas en pasado, pero una sucedió antes que la otra. Let me refresh it for you. Si no te acordás, déjame refrescarte la memoria. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And, y decíamos lo siguiente. Yeah, that's good. The first action. And the second actions. Yeah, so we have two different actions that happened. Good. ¿Qué vamos a usar para la primera acción? Lo que sucedió primero. Ahí es donde vamos a usar el past perfect. Y para lo que sucedió después, para lo que sucedió segundo, vamos a usar el simple past. Yeah, there you go. And you got it over here. Okay, let me highlight this. Beautiful. So the first action, vamos a usar el past perfect. Y para la segunda acción, vamos a usar el simple past. Yeah, that's good. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo me dirías cuando terminé de cocinar? Okay, no, no, you know what? Let me change that. How do you say yo había terminado de cocinar cuando tú Llegaste con la pizza. ¿Qué pasó primero? ¿Yo terminé de cocinar? ¿O la persona llegó con una pizza? ¿Qué pasó primero? ¿Qué pasó primero? Yeah, that's good. Yo terminé de cocinar. ¿Ya? Yeah, eso pasó primero. ¿Qué pasó después? La persona llegó con una pizza. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Easy. Esto pasó primero. Pass perfect. I have finished cooking, or I have finished to cook, no worries, you can use both, I have finished to cook, when, esto pasó después, así que simple past, when you arrived with a pizza, o puedes hacerlo al revés también. When you arrived with a pizza, cuando tú llegaste con una pizza, yo había terminado de cocinar y también eso va a estar correcto. Yeah, that's good. Ambas van a estar correctas. Yeah, that's good. You can like change the order, change the position, and it's gonna be all right. Actually, let me just lower it a little more. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more example. Te voy a dar un ejemplo más y tú... Me lo vas a hacer en Past Perfect. ¿Ya? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Um, ¿Qué pasó primero? Let's go. What happened first? Ups, ya te lo voy a poner la respuesta. Me caí. ¿Qué pasó segundo? Lloré. Ok, that's good. How do you say? Yo es, lloré porque me había caído. How do you say that? Yo lloré porque me había caído. Tienes exactamente one minute, un minuto, para hacerme este ejemplo en tu mente. Lo puedes mandar en el chat, lo puedes hacer en tu cuaderno. That's gonna be all right. Lo importante es que lo hagas. Entonces veamos. ¿Cómo me dirías? ¿Cómo me dirías? Yeah, that's good. Yo lloré porque me caí. Yeah, that's good. Past perfect. Simple. Let's go. Vamos a darle reset al time y tenés nuevamente un minuto. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pensá, ¿cómo podrías darme ese ejemplo? ¿Cómo me harías ese ejemplo? You got 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left. Okay, very easy. Very, 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 very easy. Remember, lo que pasó primero va en past perfect y lo que pasó después va en simple past. De ahí, si lo quieres poner al principio al, o al segundo, I, I, el orden, eso ya no importa. Yeah, that's good. It's gonna be alright. 
So let's check it out. Are you done? Did you finish? Let's see. One second left. Okay, beautiful. Now let's go. Let's. Oh, what's up, Fabrizio? Hey, no problem, Fabrizio. Thank you very much for connecting. Hey, gracias a vos por estar conectado and just as mira, hazme un favorazo, Fabrizio, y compartirlo con las personas que puedas. That's all I ask for. Eso es todo lo que pido. Yeah, that's good. Después, incluso planeo hacer un Discord para que ustedes puedan practicar en ciertas horas, obviamente, a tenerlo abierto al público. Pero vamos a ir pasito a pasito. Esta es solamente la primera semana, Fabrizio, eh, que, que estamos iniciando con esto. Esperamos que el proyecto crezca, pero necesito también de su ayuda para llegar a muchísimas más personas. Y si te soy honesto, a largo plazo, lo que planeamos hacer es crear uh, trabajos para ustedes. Hacerlo de forma remota, poderlo hacer. No como call center, ¿ya? Si te soy honesto, yo estuve en call centers mucho tiempo. Y es como que sí es bueno para empezar, bastante estresante hasta cierto punto. Para empezar es excelente, te da una excelente bienvenida al mundo laboral. Pero todos queremos algo mejor, ¿no? Entonces, por eso también quiero iniciar con esto. Todas las personas que estén conmigo desde un principio, que tengan esa oportunidad de poder obtener algo mejor in the future. So, thank you, Fabrizio, for being here. I appreciate it. Now, hoy sí, let's continue with this. So, what happened first? I fell down. What happened later? I cried. So, let's do it. Example, past perfect. I had fallen, and that's why I cried. Yeah, that's good. Simple. Me había caído. That's good. Me caí, y por eso lloré. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna be another way over here. Easy, simple. It is actually very, 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 very simple. Now, let's check another use of the past perfect. Veamos otro uso del past perfect, okay? We got it over here. Give me just a few seconds over here. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. I know it's a little small. It shouldn't be that way, but never mind. I cannot fix it right now. Okay, there you go. So, but I, I think you are able to see that. Now, number two, look at the one in the middle. It says, describe an action that happened before a specific time in... Oh, no, never mind. We're going to do number three. I'm sorry. This is what we were just doing right now. So, number three, it says, describe important cause and effect. Cause and effect. Yeah, me vas a dar causa y efecto o la razón del por qué pasó algo. Yeah, and we got the example over here. Yo sé que está bien pequeño. I'm sorry about that. Tuve que haberme cerciorado del qué tan grande se iba a poder ver, but um, I guess you can see that. But it says the example, I got stuck in traffic because there had been an accident. Yeah, that's good. Me atoré en el tráfico porque había sucedido, había pasado un accidente. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So, as you can see, guys, you're giving me... The cause and effect. ¿Cuál fue la causa? Un accidente de tráfico. ¿Cuál fue el efecto? Llegué tarde. Um, I'm sorry. Me, me, um, perdón. ¿Cuál fue la causa? Un accidente. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál fue el efecto? Me atoré en el tráfico. Yeah? That's good. Now, I'm going to give you one more example. Y vamos a hacer exactamente usando esto. Yeah? We're going to use this. So, let's do it together. Let's do it together. How do you say... How do you say... How do you say, no entré a mi casa porque había perdido las llaves? Yeah, that's good. How do you say this? How do you say this? Me había, no entré a mi casa porque había perdido las llaves. Fabrizio, no problem. If you gotta go, man, si te tienes que ir, that's gonna be all right. Acordate que los videos quedan acá y los pueden ver cuando ustedes puedan, yeah, that's gonna be good, so, but thank you very much for being here, brother, I appreciate it, if you can share it, that's gonna be awesome, so thank you very much. Now, let's continue with this example, okay, there you go, so how do you say, no entré a mi casa porque había perdido las llaves, tenés 30 segundos, you got exactly 30 seconds to give me that example, let's go, using past perfect, cause, effect, cause, effect, let's go. You're the best, Fabrizio. 
learning by yourself, man, it's hard, but it's possible, okay? You're going to be able to make a lot of things happen. And I'm proud of you, buddy. So let's keep it up. Keep up the good work. We got five seconds left. Five seconds left. Okay, time's up. Let's move on. How do you say that? Remember, lo mezclas con el simple past. El simple past y el past perfect. So, ¿cómo sería? I didn't get in my house because I had lost the keys. No? Simple. As simple as that. Remember that you can change the position, you can switch the place of the sentences, and it's gonna be okay. You can say, uh, porque había perdido las llaves, o porque perdí las llaves, because I had lost the keys, I didn't get in my house. Yeah, and that's gonna be really easy. Piece of cake. Do you want one last example? Un último ejemplo antes de irnos? Okay, let's go with one more example. Okay, there you go. And you can copy that. How do you say? Uh, fui a la fiesta porque ellos me habían invitado. Okay. Cause and effect cause and effect how do you say that give me your example you have exactly i'm gonna give you 50 seconds for you to give me that example you can share it in the chat or you can think about that example or you can do it in your notebook that's gonna be all right as long as you do it remember si no puedes mandármelo en el chat it's okay mientras me hagas el ejemplo eso es todo lo que necesito yeah that's good let's do it and guys, remember que esto es nivel intermedio. Ya en el nivel avanzado vamos a estar hablando full English. Te voy a ayudar. Uh, vamos a tratar de conseguir uh, posibles preguntas eh, que, y las pruebas de ciertos call centers. Yeah, that's good. I'm from El Salvador. Yo soy del Salvador. Pero las pruebas son bastante similares. And no worries. Aquí estamos para aprender todos y para mejorar entre todos. Yeah, that's good. Y cualquier comentario que tengas, hacémelo saber. Yeah, that you're more than welcome. Esto es para que mejoremos. And it's, it's, this is all for you guys. Okay, time's up. Como me decís ese ejemplo? How do you see that example? Let's go. I went to the party because they had invited me. Easy. Simple as that. Or you can change that. Remember, I told you. Because they had invited me, porque ellos me habían invitado, I went to the party. Por esa razón es que yo fui a la fiesta. Causa y efecto. Cause and effect. Yeah. So, that was it. That was the review for today. Um, we were checking wishes in the future, present perfect, past perfect. Now, si es primera vez que te conectas, thank you for being here. Uh, acordate, como todo youtuber que te dicen, dale like y compartí. Esto la verdad es que ayuda bastante a todos nosotros. So, and espero que te ayude a ti también. Y ya medio, guys, está preparado lo que vamos a hacer la próxima semana. Let me share it with you. Creo que todavía no lo tengo. Sí, ya lo tenía por ahí, pero oh, never mind. I lost it, lo perdí. Pero pendiente en redes sociales, ahí te lo voy a publicar. Voy a tratar de ponerlo acá. Y recuerda que todos los martes, eh, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, from Tuesday to Friday, we're going to be here at 7 p.m. Central America time. And we're going to be like sharing and, and learning a couple of things, okay? Especially grammar. If you have any questions, let me know. And we're going to be here to clarify all your doubts. Uh, this is only the first week. This is gonna get even better. We're gonna create groups so we can practice. Uh, I'm gonna be sending also like uh, tests, uh, listenings, uh, different activities for you to do, and it's gonna be really, really, really good. So, just do me a favor. Number one, Thank you guys for being here. I know it's Friday. Yo sé que es viernes y a veces es como que uno está cansado, no quiere estar acá, no quiere estudiar, no quiere aprender, o le dan ganas de irse de fiesta. But hey, thank you for being here. Eso demuestra lo que de verdad tú quieres para tu vida, and that's really good. And uh, number two, guys, um, I, I expect to see you on Monday. Remember, 
cualquier comentario, puedes mandarme un mensaje en privado, puedes dejarlo aquí en el chat, it's gonna be alright, I will check that out, y todo lo que sea para mejorar, thank you guys, I really appreciate it. So, that's it for today. Acuérdate que si no has visto los, las otras clases donde abarcamos los otros temas de grammar, quedan acá guardados. Eso sí, no, no te van a aparecer en la parte, en la ventana principal del canal, sino voy a tratar de, de, de subirlo, eso sí. Eh, déjame ver si lo encuentro. Así te lo muestro rápido. Ok, there you go. Here, we, here it is. Ok, no voy a estar en, aquí en home. No tengo que salir ningún, ninguno de videos, pero va a estar aquí en la pestaña de live. Aquí están todas las clases para que tú las puedas ver. So, thank you guys for being here today. Appreciate it. I hope you have a great night. And I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend and take care. Bye-bye.